Once you have your 3D primitive or extrusion, you'll want to start modifying. One way to modify them is to add fillets and subtract chamfers. To round off an edge with a fillet, you work with edges. And the same thing with chamfer. To slice off a part of a solid model, you select the edge you want to cut. BricksCAD has two commands that add fillets or rounds to 3D objects. One is oriented at the command line, the other is interactive. Enter the fillet command and then press enter. Notice all the prompts. And most of those you can ignore except for select first entity. Now the curious thing about working with 3D solids and fillets is you have to select an edge. You can't select anything else. So here I've got the cursor over an edge. You can see the entire 3D model is highlighted. I click and the one edge is now selected. So on the prompt it asks uh, fillet radius. I'll take the half inch and then it says select an edge. What this means is you have to again select the same edge and then press enter to apply the fillet. Now you notice down on the command prompt chain and that code word for selecting more than one edge to fillet at a time. So I'm going to invoke the chain option. So there's two edges that I've selected. Press enter and BricksCAD fillets all of them. BricksCAD has a second command for applying fillets to 3D objects and it's called DM Fillet. It does the job interactively. DM is short for direct modeling or modeling directly. So I've entered the DM Fillet command and it's asking me again to select edges to create the fillet. This time the prompt's more straightforward than with the regular fillet command. So I'm going to select this edge, press enter to just fill it one edge. And it asks for a fillet radius. So you notice there's direct entry field there, or you can simply drag the cursor back and forth until you have something that you like. There's the fillet created much more quickly. I'm going to undo and uh, repeat the command to show what happens when I select more than one edge at a time. So I've selected three edges, press enter, and now I can specify the radius again interactively. If we orbit that around, we have quite a different looking shape than our original box. Just like with Fillet, BricksCAD has two commands for chamfering the edges of 3D solids. I've entered the chamfer command at the command prompt, and once again you ignore most of the settings, except for the prompt at the end, select first entity, and again I'm going to select an edge. Uh, it's asking me which surface I want to select, and it's highlighting one of them. And the reason that there's a possible confusion here, this edge connects to that surface and that surface. Technically they're planes. Now it's asking for the chamfer distance, and I'm going to put in 0.5, again 0.5, and now it's asking me for an edge or a little chamfer, the edge that I select. Now let me undo and show what the loop option is like. Loop is for when you want to do all of the uh, edges on a face. BricksCAD also has the interactive version of the chamfer command called DM Chamfer. So I've entered it, it asks for an edge to chamfer, I select it, and then it asks for a few more. So I'm going to choose two of them at this point. Press enter and again you use your mouse to indicate the chamfer distance visually or else you can then enter in a value in the direct entry box. The result is again something quite different than from the original box. You can apply a fillet to a chamfer. Enter in DMF the alias for DM fillet command Ask me for an edge, so I'll choose this one and this one. Press enter, and then it asks for a radius. So there's the fillet on the chamfer. Now the regular chamfer in fillet commands, you can preset the radii and uh, angles and so on. This is useful if you constantly apply a, say a fillet of a half inch radius or a um, chamfer of 45 degrees. So best way to get there is enter the fillet command and then enter S for settings and that takes you directly to these settings. So you'd have a choice here of how you want to specify 
the chamfer either by an angle and a length or by the two distances which is what we've been seeing in this video and then you can specify the various distances let me change that one to 0.5 notice that BricsCAD uh, bold faces anything you change in the settings dialog box chamfer length angle if you're going to be using that so let's put in 45 and then the fillet radius half final option on uh, trimming does not apply to 3d solids